this is my latest video um, from March um, most of the shots nearly all of them were spotted using my new pulsar thermal spotter there's a quick review on that um, later on in the video also a review on the ATN smart reticle so here we go this was the uh, one of the first ones it was in the soil each pit just running around only a little rat one at one stopped me so I waited and there you go nice clean shot as you can see in the slow motion here um, very accurate um, nice clean kill this next shot I spotted him I spotted literally the heat coming from the wall and decided to have a look and it paid off the thermal spotter really is a game changer it just changes you see so much more and there he is flopping out the hole afterwards um, it's a good shot that was good coming to as you can probably hear in the background on this one very rainy I had to try and find the little hidey holes that they're in he was just hiding down the back and back on the corn again, the corn feed. Nice big rat. I had to do a follow-up shot on this. He was going to die there, as you can see, he's a bit, he's fading. But a nice follow-up shot, and there you go, he's down. This next one I actually spotted with the thermal, never shot. There you go, down. Never shot this position, um, but I managed to spot them. Didn't even know that hole was there until I saw the body heat through the thermal so again I'll be paying attention to that hole in the future now I know where it is This is again in the bottom of the silage pit. They come from behind that tarpaulin. Again, I did a follow-up shot on this one because I wasn't happy with the first shot. So again, quick follow-up shot, and he's down. As you heard by the ting of the metal there, straight through and through. He died just at the back there, found him with the thermal. Bottom of the side is again, this one's a bit of a dancer, but he, uh, he soon goes down. This next clip that you'll see in a minute, even JLo would be uh, would be jealous of the of the wiggle on this one. Just watch how fat and this one is that comes over the uh, brow of the corn feed. Proper big wiggle on it. Straight down, sits in the perfect position for me. Head on, 14 yards away. No getting up from that. This one I watched for a while, I decided he wasn't going to turn his head enough, so I went for the side shot. And again, the accuracy of the Wolverine R uh, paid off. Straight in the eye, from quite, a, quite an acute angle, um, straight down. Next shot, I have noticed a few little rats running around, so obviously breeding. Um, near enough guarantee to take them out of a heart and lung or a headshot because the headshot's obviously harder because it's smaller 
Then I got a bonus pigeon, and as you'll see, my reticles changed here. That's using a new ATN Smart reticle that you'll see in a minute. Uh, you see the review on it, a minute short review on it, and it does work. Calculates for elevation and everything that you're doing. So, shooting to raft, rafters, it calculates all that for you. Again, these next shots are all with the new ATM reticle. next one I spotted the movement with the thermal running back and forwards and waited for the eyes and as you can see just a bit of the eye and that's one of the advantages of having the, having the thermal spot loads and here we go with a quick review right I just want to take a moment just to show everyone um, the kit then I'll show you how I spotted the last shot which you saw just through the, the straw, you can only just see the eyes. Well, I spotted him uh, with this. It's the Pulsar Quantum Light XQ23V um, thermal, and it's amazing. Total game changer, as you may expect. You've probably heard people saying it getting a thermal game changer I opted for the thermal spotter not the thermal scope again I've still got it's a bit dusty because the farm's a bit dusty today I've still got the ATN 4k pro the ABL 1000 rangefinder the Evo 50 torch from night vision UK and then all that on top of the Wolverine R 0.22. I just want to quickly show you if I can the spotter, the view that I get. And you have to excuse the dodgy camera work, but you you get the gist. I see through the spotter. As you can see at the back there, that's two collared doves up in the rafters, which obviously I can't shoot because I haven't got a, that on the uh, general license no more. And then show you one that I shot earlier if I can find him as you can see the glow there bottom left that's him and then out there that glow at the back which you can see that's the cows in the shed and you go along and like I said you can clearly see everything really really good uh, some heat off a tractor over there over the back that's across the slurry pit And that rat that I shot in the last one was up there and I don't know if you'll see, be able to see the glow. See that little bit of glow there? That's where he was, that's his actual body heat there. And then you just see the bales. And then we pan back round into the roof and then that's about 50 yards. You can clearly see there's a heat source up there. So then you walk in and then you identify it. And then away you go. Next clip was a bonus rabbit. I watched it run off from me, watched it with the thermal, saw where it went, and took it out. Would not have spotted that with normal IR. That's where the thermal comes into its own. And now for this new ATN Smart reticle, as you'll see on the picture here, uh, the teal dot in the middle is what actually moves. So when you lay something, Instead of the crosshairs moving, the teal dot moves on the crosshairs, so you can still use your hold over, hold under. It also accounts for windage. Um, and the good thing about it is it becomes FFP. So even when you zoom in, doesn't matter what your zero range is, you zoom in, you don't lose um, anything whatever magnification you're on so your point of impact stays the same it's really really good 
You can change the, the mill dot spacings from one to five or six, I think it is. Um, and it really does work. It, it is really good, it's excellent. Like I said, you watch the teal dot. So you aim the teal dot where you wanna hit. You don't move, you don't leave it on the center. I got a little bit confused on that, but I've been using it for a while now and it really does work on any magnification, whatever my zero range is, um, and it's excellent. It's, it's a total game changer for those who like to use hold over and hold under. Here's a quick look how it looks through the scope. So that's through my scope, and that's what you see. So you see the full reticle. However, when you record and then you play it back, that's the record, that's what you, the view that you see of the reticle. You don't see the full reticle. Um, which I think is so we don't take up the full screen. And again, there you go. Put another follow-up shot into this one. He was he was going to die, but I thought I'd just take him out of another follow-up shot. And he's down. That smart vertical, give it a try. It really does work. This next shot um, spotted the heat source just coming out the hole on the thermal. Watched it for a while, waited for it to come out a bit more. Straight down. It was one of those big echoey uh, impacts. Saw this one as well on the thermal. Would not have seen that with normal IR. Um, because I wasn't looking in that direction and also you can you can spot it with the thermal just the movement under the pallet whether you see the eye shine or not again another little rat on a bit of corn that I pull out and another one again ATN smart reticle and again straight down adjust it and then there you go this was a really small one watched it with the thermal for a while Nice little flip, and down he goes. Same hole again, watch the heat source. Same sort of impact. These next few shots, I've gone back uh, to one of my newest perms and saw so this guy took him out. Luckily, I've got two wrap permissions within half a mile of each other, so going back and forth in between them. This one was in the back of the cow shed. Again, straight down, spotted him with the thermal, watched him for a while, nice shot right in the eye. straight down very confident in my kit with this one took it with the heart and lung straight through there are cows in this shed as you'll see 
But again, confident with my kit, confident where the cows were. Just poking his head out. There you go. Watch him flop out now. Very accurate. Uh, my, my setup is now. I'm very confident in it to take shots like that. This next shot, it came out to investigate the one I'd shot earlier, but listen to what sound it makes. It sounds like it says, ouch. This next shot, I knew exactly where the cows were. Farmer doesn't mind me taking shots like this because he knows I always put his cattle first. Confident, take the shot. And as you'll see, doesn't spook the cow at all. There is some more footage to come, hope you enjoyed um, and all of you stay safe.